Hey, hi everyone. Welcome back to my tutorials. So today we are going to see about the Selenium locators. So we will see the locators with some live example today. Okay. So the agenda of the video is to understand what is locator in Selenium. Then we will see what are the different types of locators available in Selenium WebDriver. Then we'll see uh, out of the total available locators, we will see only two locators with some example today so that we can understand those two locators properly and then we can move to the next session, okay? So before going for the live example and the different types of locators, let us understand what is basically a locator in Selenium WebDriver and why we need it basically, okay? So as you know, the primary job of our uh, Selenium code is to interact with the web page, right? So that it can automate our test cases, our, our manual test cases whenever we want to automate. For that, we write the Selenium test cases, right? But the Selenium web driver needs to interact with the web browser, right? So for that, we need to basically locate the elements first. What is element? So basically the elements are nothing but, let me take one example. So for this example, let me take you to one website that is uh, headspace.com. So, so this particular website has this user interface, correct? What is element here? The elements are nothing but the buttons, the link, Okay, the, the text field, whatever you see on a particular web page, those are called web elements, right? So basically the web page is built on uh, HTML, CSS, right? All these things basically are a combination of elements, correct? For this uh, example, I'm going to go with the login page and I'll show you how we can locate those elements with the help of Selenium WebDriver's locators. Okay, let us see what are the different types of locators available. So we have this many locators available. So we have ID, we have name, we have tag name, class name, we have link text, we have partial link text, and we have XPath and CSS selector. Okay, but in this session, we are going to see the ID and name properly so that we can understand this two better and then we can go with the next text in our upcoming tutorials. Okay. And let us understand properly what are ID and name in locators. Okay, I'll just show one live example for this. So for that, I'm taking help of this particular website. Okay, so I'm going to the login and then I'll get this login page. I'll show you how to uh, automate this particular email address and this password field. Okay, I'll show you an example how to locate this email address text field and how to locate this password field. Okay, so let us go back to the code. So I'll create a class here in the package for the live example. Okay, so I'm creating a class and let me give the class name as a login page test. Okay, because I'm going to perform the actions on the login page of this particular website. So let me give the class name as login page test. So I'm creating a, a class. Okay, as you can see the class is created. So I'm going to write this code in proper uh, test ng format. I'm going to use a few uh, test ng notations. So if you have not seen my previous test ng uh, the detailed video, you can please go and watch that video so that you can get an idea about it. Okay. So uh, basically my job is to launch this particular uh, website and then I'll go to the email address and I'll try to enter the password. Okay. I'll show how to locate these two fields. Okay. So let me uh, basically uh, use at the rate before switch and I'll create a method public void I'll give the name as setup okay because inside this I'm, I'm going to set up the uh, chrome driver exe and all okay but in my case I'm not going to use system.set property and all because I'm going to use the web driver manager okay the, the library for web driver manager is already in my maven dependencies this is a maven project okay so this is my maven project so I'm going to use that's why Web driver manager. So if you have not seen my previous uh, video on the web driver manager, you can go and watch that. Okay, put web driver manager dot chrome driver dot setup. Okay, only this line I have to use to declare that particular chrome driver. Okay, so let me import this. I can also use system dot set property. So let me comment it out for now. Okay, system dot set property. Then I can give uh, web driver dot chrome dot driver and I can provide the part of my chrome driver exe location. Okay. So chrome driver dot exe. 
so this is the uh, normal format people uh, generally use uh, when they start but the thing is this is not so recommended because it has a lot of dependency because you need to keep on downloading the latest exe file okay so there is a sometime it will not work if there is a, a mismatch in the browser version and the chrome driver exe version so i would recommend to use webdriver-manager.chromedriver.setup uh, because it will automatically pick up the uh, the proper version as per your browser install on your machine so you can watch that video i have already created a detailed video on this particular topic so let me comment it out for now so uh, so this is my setup under the before suite annotation let me declare before test okay so here i'm going to basically launch the browser browser okay so i am basically going to launch a browser here so web driver driver equal to new chrome driver okay so i have basically i have created the web driver reference and i am creating the object for the chrome driver class okay by giving the reference to the web driver so let me import this let me import the chrome driver class as well okay so let me import the before test annotation as well so uh, to understand it better this particular line you can uh, always go and watch my previous video so i have already uh, made a detailed video on this particular topic as well okay so let me do one thing uh, let me declare this particular thing global scope so let me put here okay. so i can remove this part now yeah. so now i will use another annotation that is at the rate before class okay here i'm going to use public void getting the url giving the method name as getting the url because i have set up the web driver manager chrome driver the setup then i have launched a browser then it's my time to get the url next okay that's why i'm using getting the url method under added before class so let me import that so let me use driver dot get url so the url is going to be this particular url Okay, I'm going to use this particular URL. So I'm directly copying this so that I can get the login page directly. If I provide this uh, URL, then it will go to this particular web page and then I have to click on login. Okay, that is an extra step I have to do. For this particular tutorial, I'm skipping this uh, clicking on login and going to the uh, login page because for that I'll have to create a new video, new tutorial. So uh, just for the login page, since I'm covering this topic for the uh, locators, I'm directly copying this so that I can get the login page directly. Okay, so here uh, I'm going to provide this URL. Okay, so I have uh, created the three blocks now. So let me create a test block also. At the rate test, okay. public void verify login. Okay, since I'm going to verify the login page, the email address and the password. So I am giving the name of the method as verify login. Okay, so for this particular test block. Let me import this. Then you can see a run and debug options have also come because I am using a Maven project. So now I can uh, locate these elements because I have to locate the element because now my test block is starting. So I have to locate the element first. So how to locate the element? We are going to see now. So we are going to see this particular point. Th third point we are going to see. We are going to understand how to locate using ID and name with a live example. Okay, so let me locate this email address field. So what you need to do is you can just right click on this text field and click on inspect. Okay, once you click on inspect, you can see there is a, there are so many tabs. So you have to go to this elements tab. Okay, once you click on the elements tab, by default it is coming to the elements tab. In, so this is the DOM structure of the entire web page, the whole web, web, web page. Okay. So now you see, since I have uh, right clicked on this email address field, this is getting highlighted. Once you hover on this, you can see this field is getting highlighted, right? This is getting highlighted with this green color, okay? So this is a text field, that's why you can see there is a tag. So what is tag? Tag is nothing but the whatever the web element we are, uh, we are able to locate, right? So those are basically in the form of tags. There are open tags and there are closed tags. So tag is basically you can find in the HTML pages. You can see there is a div tag. Okay. 
there's less than and there is again less than and slash and then again divs so if you find this block that means it is a tag okay there are uh, start tag and there are end tags so when you see uh, if it is uh, followed by something like slash then it will be a closed tag and if there is no slash then you can call it as open tag okay okay so for example you can see these are open tags so there is no slash in the beginning okay but here it is getting closed here okay similarly if you see this is an open input tag okay so now in this input tag what do you see there are some values are there right there is an input type email then we have class okay then we have something called id then we have name okay so what we are looking at currently we are looking at id and name correct we are trying to locate uh, by using these two locators id and name okay we are not seeing the tag name class name link text and all okay we are just focusing on id and name okay so here you see this particular text field of type input has two locators what is that it has id it has name okay so the id is equal to email and name is also equal to email okay some websites have different name and different id but in this particular uh, website so email address has id as email and name is also having the same value that is email right so no problem whatever the value is there you can just go accordingly so what i'm going to do this i'm going to take this id and name value okay so i'm going to show first with the id then i'll show with name okay for the next field next field also i can inspect and i'll show you that also okay let me go with the first field that is email address so uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to write my selenium code now okay i'm going to write driver dot there are so many methods available when you type driver dot there are so many methods coming up which are given by selenium web driver okay so since we are what we are doing trying to do we are trying to find the element right we are trying to find the element by using the locator okay so for that there is a method called find element okay just type dot f i n you can be automatically you will see two methods are coming up so you go with the first one that is element we'll talk about the find elements one later in our next tutorial okay so let's go with first find element okay so now we are going to find the element with the help of a locator which locator we are going to find the element with the help of id locator right let us go with that first okay so now you just type p capital small y dot id as, as you can see there are so many locators are coming up right it is coming up with class name css selector id link text name partial link all these things are coming up here all these things are coming up in the list right so you select the id because we are talking about id so let's select id okay id so what is the id here the id is this one email right the id for this email address text box so let us copy this just double click on this and you can just copy the email value and here in double quotes you put the value that is email okay then you provide the semicolon at last okay so let me execute the code and see what i will get if i execute this particular code okay uh, before that let me uh, write here driver dot manage dot window dot maximize so that i can get the window in maximize the format so now let me run this code and see what i get as you can see chrome driver is started the it, it has also launched the browser with the url okay headspace.com slash login as you can see then it will maximize the window and you can see this is the login page also let us see what happened so can we see yeah the test is pass okay you can see test is pass but we did not see any activity on the email address field right although we have written this particular code we could not see any activity being performed on this particular email address field why the reason is very simple see where we have just given the location we have just given the locators okay with the id with the value email but we have not asked selenium to perform any other action in the email address field okay we have not asked to enter any value 
okay now let us tell selenium to enter some value okay how to do that we can do that now let us remove this semicolon and i will tell selenium to enter some text there okay enter some value there because that is an input field we can input some thing there we can input some value there okay so let me remove this semicolon and let me press dot then you can see there are so many methods coming up so i'll go with something called send keys okay send keys you just type se you will get the method name here okay just select send keys okay so what do you want to pass here we want to pass the email address right so put this in double quote like uh, hello hi at the rate mail in editor or i'm just giving one email address here one dummy email address okay so now let us try to execute the code let me close this manually because i am not using driver with quit because i have to show you what is happening here okay let me close it manually i will clear it then let me run now run it now I'll click on run now see what will happen on the email address field so it is again launching the browser with this url and i'm getting the login page then it will maximize okay now you see it is able to enter the email address in the email address field so my locator is working successfully okay it has been able to locate this particular website's email address then it has been able to type that particular characters so that i have passed in the send keys okay so so the id is working now okay so you have seen the id now, now let us see how to use the name locator okay how to locate this particular web element by using this name locator so we will take example of password in this case okay so then i'll go to the password field i'm right clicking on this password field and i'm clicking on inspect okay so here is my uh, the inspect element so he, this is my again the tags the html tags okay so as you can see this is getting highlighted uh, for the password field so this is again a text field that's why you can see this is the tag name of input okay so it has the type input and it has again some id and some name for both id and name the value is password okay so i can since i'm working on the name locator so i will go with the name i'll get the value that is password so here i'm going to write the code i'll go with driver dot find element again i'll type by dot here i'll go with name okay because i'm going to use the name locator here then i'll type the value password okay. then i can provide the value basically i can pass some text so that it can type in the password field okay so for that i'm going to use send keys again so i'll be giving some one two three four five six seven eight nine something like that okay so my text line is ready so my code is ready for the locator name okay i'm using the value password now i will execute this code let me click on run let me clear this i'll click on run and we will see how it is performing on the password field okay because we are using the name locator for the password field so it is launching the browser with the url i'm getting the login page now you see it is able to enter the text in the password field it has located this password text field with the help of the a name locator okay the, with the password value then i have given send keys that's why it is able to enter this values in the password field okay you can just see that one two three four five six seven eight nine so this is the use of the locators so we have seen two locators those are id and name okay that's how you can make use of these locators okay this is how we can implement locators in our uh, selenium web driver code so we have basically seen all the three points so we have understood what is locator in selenium we have also seen what are the different types of locators we have these many types of locators and we have seen one example that is how to implement id and name locator with one live example in our selenium code right so so that's all about this topic I hope you have understood it, uh, you can keep on practicing. So if you have liked the video, please hit the like button and if you are new to my channel, please uh, subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions, any doubts, please drop those in the comment section. I will come up with a new topic. Thank you, thanks for watching.